Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your HP ProBook 430G5 RAM, solid state drive or hard drive depending on what you have in it already or what you are interested of swapping or upgrading. Uh, also you're going to see how you can open up this laptop. It is super easy, I promise. It's going to take you only minutes, maybe seconds in some cases. It's super, super easy. Okay, this is the back panel now. Uh, as you can see, there's only one screw you have to really take out it is, it is as I promised it's super super easy so you need only one type of screwdriver here just remove that screw and uh, now this back panel it doesn't come off as easy as you would think so I have to use quite a bit of pressure there to get it out there we go that's removed now you can see your two RAM slots there. Okay, this is the another another screw you have to remove to get to the actual hard drive bay and solid state state drive bay. Okay, that is it. You can see M2 slot is empty at the moment, and uh, hard drive is in it. There's a solid state drive actually in it. It's 2.5 inch solid state drive. There's your RAM slots now. Closer look. Everything else is pretty much hidden on this laptop, so you'd have to actually take, if you're changing the motherboard or you want to get to the uh, battery, you'd have to remove a lot more, so... There's your Wi-Fi card. And as I promised, it's super simple actually to upgrade this laptop. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna install, instead of this solid state drive, I'm gonna remove this first, I'm gonna install normal hard drive, 500 gig hard drive for data, just for storage. You can see that in a minute now. Okay, these two screws, just remove them and you can kind of slide that hard drive out. Or solid state drive in my case now. It's actually a pretty decent drive in it, it was fast enough, that wasn't even the problem. Just the problem with storage, there's 240 gigs I think on this one, or even less, don't remember exactly, but... Uh... So, to get to that drive now, just remove these four screws on the sides. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing it to get extra storage because there is spot or space for it, so I'm just using what's there. So that's, that's it, four screws are removed. I can remove that drive now as well. Yeah, it was 240 gigs Kingston solid state drive, 2.5 inch of course. Okay, this is the 500 gigabyte normal hard drive, it's also 2.5 inch. 7200 RPMs, it's fast enough drive. Uh, I won't install Windows now on it or anything, just this drive is gonna go in purely for storage now. If you have movies or bigger files what you need to store separately. And same thing again, just uh, put that drive into the caddy and uh, these four screws will go back in on the sides. Almost done, just two more screws left. I could have speeded that up, I suppose, a little bit, but sure. Too late now. <laughs> you can just skip few parts if, if kind of, it, it is a bit boring, I have to say. There we go, these four screws are back in and that's, that's how it looks now. You can kind of slide it back in there. There. And these two screws now can go back. Oh, 
Okay, your hard drive was upgraded. That's your M2 solid state drive slot. And that's where the system's gonna go now, like Windows 10 in this case. That's how the drive looks like. It's 250 gigabyte Kingston solid state drive, M2 drive. It's very fast, it's good drive. It's not the dearest one, it's pretty budget friendly, I think. I don't remember what I paid for it, but uh, I, I remember I bought good few of them together, so it must have been cheap enough now. I'd guess around maybe $35 at the time anyway. Could be more now. Just in a second, I'm gonna show you the closer look. That's how it looks like. I'm gonna leave a link in the description now, or at least a serial number of it, so you can find it, Google it yourself and you'll find it. They do different sizes of these drives, so 250 for, for this one is okay. It's enough for me anyway, so. And remember, anything you upgrade at all, like, I mean, hard drives, if you remove one hard drive and put in another one, like a new one, of course you have to install Windows 10 or win whatever Windows you want to use, you have to install it again because there'll be nothing, obviously, on these drives. So next thing is uh, your RAM. There's 8 gigabyte in at the moment, two four, 4 gigabyte sticks, DDR4. Also, I'm going to leave the serial number of these sticks in the description, so it's going to be easier for you to find if you are upgrading. I'm going to upgrade 8 by 2 so it's going to have 16 gigs in total. As far as I know, this laptop will take 32 gigabyte easily, so 2 by 16 gigs will do as well. That's all I have. I have 2 by 8 gigabyte sticks, so in total this laptop will have 16 gigs of RAM and 250 gigabyte M2 solid, stri solid state drive plus 500 gigabyte normal hard drive for storage. So that's the second stick here. You can actually get the serial number from the sticker there, so but I'm gonna leave it in the description anyway, so there it goes. And the one thing I can recommend you to do before you actually close the back panels, maybe turn around the laptop and turn it on. To see is everything functioning all right? Is it turning on? It just saves you hassle to open it up again. So same same way as you took the laptop apart, now you can put things back on again, this little small panel. And the bigger one, you can have to, you actually have to push them in a bit because they're just not sitting in freely. You get the kind of little clips there. Same with this one now just uh, close the screw and you have to push it in again and that's pretty much it and remember you have to install windows now again and your laptop is gonna be nice and fast and smooth so hopefully this video was helpful for, for someone out there who is looking to see how the laptop looks inside what kind of ram solid state drive you need to install or get for installation so if you liked the video if it was helpful press the thumbs up and you know what have a good life bye bye